It's one of Akron's best known landmarks, at least for now. Welcome to the historic Rubber Bowl, or maybe welcome back. It's a far cry from its glory days, isn't it? When you look behind me, it's abandoned and in foreclosure. And the city of Akron is getting ready to potentially tear it down. So many of us have great memories from this place, from the Rubber Bowl when it opened back in 1940. And Manny Abraham kicks off our coverage tonight with a look back at what makes it so special. And the band starts its final rehearsal. Hours of rehearsals leading up to a performance right here. The Rubber Bowl, home to University of Akron athletes and fans for decades. The stadium, built nearly 80 years ago, has seated thousands cheering on their favorites from high school football to the professional league. The field hosted the Cleveland Browns in 1956 and even the Dallas Texans in 1952, winning their only game right here in Akron's Rubber Bowl. Its history includes players like Akron Zip and former Browns quarterback Charlie Fry and a young Big Ben Roethlisberger. But the history of the bowl wasn't limited to football. In 1988, Monsters of Rock, headlined by Van Halen. And another icon making a stop in 1972. We're going to let the students enjoy themselves, but they're not going to break any laws. But a riot did break out. Photographer Ott Gangle capturing the moments at the concert. A list of musicians followed. The Grateful Dead with Tom Petty and Bob Dylan was a night to remember for WONE's Tim Doherty. While we're sitting there enjoying the show, who should come up and sit down next to us, all the WONE staff, but Bernie Kosar who had his Wayfarers on, just came to enjoy the music. So that's my favorite Rubber Bowl memory. Football and music, the heart of the Rubber Bowl. But it was also the campsite for the Ohio National Guard, stationed inside the stadium during the Akron riots in 1968. Fast forward about 40 years, and there you would find the last sounds to echo out of the 35,000-seat stadium. The University of Akron letting go and moving on to a new stadium closer to campus with years passing by. So this property has been largely neglected and abandoned and, and just sort of left to decay. But the history and memories made in this graffiti covered shell will live on. It's incredible to see the history almost come to life in that story. It's legacy almost etched in stone right here in Akron. Absolutely, and I know you put a lot of work into digging through some of those archives and making a lot of calls, and there, there are so many memories. I mean, both yeah. of us grew up in Akron, and we've heard about those great days and seen some of it ourselves, although it's been quiet for a lot of our lives. So. Thank you very much, Amani, for what you've done. And coming up in a few minutes, Russ, we are going to look at why demolition appears to be the next step for the Rubber Bowl and what could happen to the property after that. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, and just in time, it sounds like, Sarah. Thanks a lot.